Tebi Khatlana in their opener and giving a good account of themselves in France. South Africa next to defend their Kasafa Women's Cup title at home with the tournament beginning on the 31st of this month. Today, the draw will be conducted at midday and Banyana Banyana will find out who they face first from the 11 other teams taking part. Coach of the side, Desiree Ellis, now joins us. A very good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Uh, good morning, Valen. Thanks for having me. Uh, there hasn't been much time from World Cup to now pre preparing to defend your Cassava Cup title. No, there hasn't, but still enjoying the World Cup, though. It um, uh, was a fantastic uh, moment for us walking out onto the stadium. I think that was the biggest moment for me, seeing the South African flag and then singing the national anthem. Um, it was very emotional, but... Uh, uh, we started really well, um, you know, Timmy scoring a fantastic goal. Uh, unfortunately, the result didn't go our way. And the first game was so key for us, and uh, the second game became a final. Um, we didn't get the result we wanted there. And then we played Germany, who were ranked second in the world, and uh, we played really hard and had a couple of chances. Um, didn't get the result, and that for us is disappointing, but, uh, you know, you cannot... Uh, uh, say they didn't, that there wasn't an effort. Uh, players put in a fantastic effort. They, they were magnificent in putting their bodies on the line and trying to play as well as they can. And uh, um, you get judged by results. And unfortunately, we didn't get that. But uh, we cannot say, um, you know, there was no effort. Uh, there's some distance now between uh, the experience in France um, and having come home now. If you look back, is there anything you would have changed in the build up to the tournament or even at the tournament? No, not really. Um, you know, uh, you, you do things there, um, you see things during training and then you go with that, you analyse the opposition um, and then you go with that as well. Um, and obviously opposition analyse you as well. And at the end of the day, uh, it comes down to taking your chances. You know, in the first game, uh, we were 1-0 up, uh, could have gone 2-0 um, in the first half, could have gone 2-0 uh, even in the se early in the second half and it might have been game over. Um, and then we got the two penalty decisions against us and the third one was always going to be because we were then chasing the game. And then coming up against China, it became a final for both of us and uh, we had prepared really well. Um, conceded, lost a bit of concentration, conceded, um, didn't create that much. And against Germany, we knew it was going to be difficult, um, but we, we had a couple of opportunities and didn't take them as well. And we've spoken about uh, minimising your mistakes. And against the top teams, you know, you make a little uh, mistake and it's in the back of the net. But on the other hand, if you get an opportunity to score, then you've got to take that as well. And we didn't really take that as well. Uh, this was also the first time that Banyana Banyana played with the VAR. And it has been instrumental in this Women's World Cup, not just in Banyana Banyana matches, but in all the games that we've seen when pretty much all of them um, at the Women's World Cup. What's your view now on the technology? Well, you know, it's here to stay. Um, on the other hand, if it had gone for us, we would have been very happy. Um, and you win some and you lose some. Um, but it's here to stay. Um, uh, last night again, there was another VA or it was so close, but that was spot on as well. Um, I just felt with uh, Velakazi, you know, it was a it was a, a catch two situation where she cleared the ball and the momentum took her. But uh, I sometimes think common sense must prevail, but it's here to stay and we've got to adapt to it. We've got to be more disciplined and adapt to it and make sure, uh, you know, that we don't get into a position where VAR comes into place again. What did you say to Notanda after <clears throat> that match against Spain when she was sent off with that red? Well, I went to her, you know, because she was very disappointed. Mm -hmm. You could see that she was disappointed. I said to her, look, you had cleared the ball and, uh, you know, you're not responsible for, for what happened on the field for the loss in any way. You had a really good game. Um, unfortunately, you, you know, you won't play the next game, but just be there to support your teammates. Uh, let's speak a little bit about Kasafa Cup because that's obviously the next big tournament uh, for yourselves and the team and you go in as defending champions. Uh, there are 12 teams. The 11 others are Angola, Botswana, Comoros, Eswatini, Madagascar, Malawi, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, Zimbabwe and Zambia. Who of those teams are you most wary about? Look, uh, Zambia, Botswana, you know, um, Malawi as well, um, especially if the the, the Chewinga sisters come and come and play because they really, you know, uh, perform well for the for the team. Zambia did really well at at Afcon as well. You have Zimbabwe as well. But on the other hand, you cannot discount any teams. You know, last year we started off with Madagascar. Um, we didn't play well, but they really raised the game. So you can dis cannot discount any team, and you underestimate a team at your own peril. You know, so us coming from the World Cup. We've got to show what yeah. experience we got there and we've got to use that experience and show why we went to the World Cup and what more way to come back and, you know, really do well at the Kosafa Cup.
Uh, there's a lot of uh, players that have uh, been a part of the Banyana setup for a long time. Are you going to be using this Kasafa Cup to uh, blood some new young players? Uh, so for the next World Cup, South Africa will qualify and go on and hopefully go through to the round of 16. Well, it's not a FIFA date either, so we minus quite a couple of players as well. Um, they play abroad, um, and it's a good opportunity to bring in some players. We've used the Kosafa Cup in the past and blooded a few uh, players, and we will do the same this time around as well, um, giving a few players an opportunity and making the pool bigger, because that's really important for us, is to make the pool bigger as well. All right, Desiree, let's, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. Um, today. Thank you very much for coming into the studio and chatting to us. Thanks for having me. Uh, Des Reyes, the coach of Banyana Banyana. We will bring you your trivia answer and all of your comments after 8 o'clock here on Morning Live. Your headline news is after the break.